God don't want us to feel better about ourselves. God no. wants to set us free yes, no. from the weight of sin yeah. and death. Jesus died not that we can feel better about ourselves, but that we can be transformed yes. through the renewal of our mind. Yes. We can become new creatures. We don't need a barbarian's fire. We need an apostolic yes, end time fire yes, so Lord. hot that when people come into the sanctuary Woo! of the Pentecost of the Smyrna, conviction begins to touch their hearts. They're not okay living alternate lifestyles. They're not okay with things yes, of this world. Well, conviction comes in. The fire causes them to let those spirits loose. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Amen. We need old time apostolic Pentecostal fire. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It doesn't come with better music mm. or softer pews. It doesn't come with great air condition. It doesn't come with valet parking. You know what brings apostolic fire? Yes, is when we Lord. gather up more sticks yes. and we put them in the fire. Yeah, no. I'm talking about the sticks of prayer. Yes, I'm talking about the sticks of fasting. Yeah, no. I'm talking about the sticks of dedication. Hey. I'm talking about separation. Yes, I'm Lord. talking about being in the word and hearing the voice yeah. of God. Yeah, Lord. We need the fire Amen. of God. I'm thankful for the light of truth, but I'm also thankful for the heat that when the enemy wants to latch himself on me. Mm. I don't have any Bible for what I'm fixing to say, but it's going to sound good. <laughs> Do you know that the barbarians were watching? The barbarians were watching. Can I say this? We're afraid sometimes to demonstrate commitment. I like that preacher, but he's kind of extreme. He thinks a woman should look like a woman. And a man should look like a man. If there was ever a day that the church of the living God needs to declare a man is a man and a woman is a woman, it's today. Amen. I like that preacher. He's very passionate, but he, he believes you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Now, I think that's a little narrow. I'm telling you, to, I'm just telling you what the word says, yes, truth. Yes. If it brings heat in your life, you need to submit to the heat yes, of God Lord. and let go of the Amen. things of the world. I don't care what your mom and daddy did and thought. I'm telling you what the book says. Yes. You must repent and be baptized yes. in Amen. the name of Jesus yes, Christ Lord. for the remission of yellow, sin. Yellow, yellow. Do, do you know what? Do you know what prevents things like copper from being able to conduct electricity? If it's got too many impurities in the metal, mm. it creates resistance and it won't allow the electrical current to flow. And we wonder sometimes why oh, the spirit's not moving. Sometimes we've got too many impurities in yeah, us that don't allow the spirit to move freely. Can I tell you what though? I don't, I don't have a list of do's and don'ts. I go over and tell people, you need to do this, you need to do this. Let me tell you what, the Spirit will lead you. Yes, yes, but Lord. when the Spirit speaks to you, don't resist the Spirit. If God's telling you to let go, give up, right. throw away, turn loose, you better get rid of, throw away, and turn yes, loose. Yeah. Don't, don't put it in your dresser drawer. Mm. Don't slide it under your mattress. Don't store it in the garage. Throw it in the fire! Yeah, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Because it's not if, it's when you have a low moment or a weak spot. If it's convenient, you'll go back to it. But when you throw it in the fire, oh, God. you can't pick it up no more. Amen. I still believe the child of God has got to walk right and spit white. Amen. Amen. I'm not judging or criticizing. But when you get the Holy Ghost I've got, to, you'll be willing to let go of things of this world. Nicotine will no longer be a draw. Alcohol Amen. will no longer be acceptable. We got churches that are embracing same-sex marriage in the pulpit. There are churches that are struggling, saying pot is natural, so it must be okay. And so our Sunday school teachers can smoke pot and be okay with the church. We need the fire Amen. of God yeah, Lord. back in the church. Amen. Now you can believe what you want to believe. The Bible says those barbarians are watching him. And that snake that was okay in the barbarians' fire when Paul threw extra sticks on it because now there's more light. And guess what? Now there's more heat. That snake wouldn't come. It's too hot. He had to run. Brother Brian, he's too hot. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. 
That snake latched stone to his hands. I don't care. Sister, Sister Braswell and I have, her granddad was my great granddad. There was some snake handling in our family. We don't talk much about it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, show me in scripture where Paul handled that snake. <laughs> He shook that thing off. Right. Yeah, Lord. I thought I'd get one amen on that. Amen. He shook it off. Right. In the fire. Mm. Right. In the fire. Yes. Yeah. We need to be close to the fire for when the enemy comes in like a flood. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. We can shake him off. Guess what? He can't handle the fire. A snake is a cold-blooded creature. He has no ability to warm himself. So he will come near the fire. But he won't be in the fire. But I'm telling you what, we're going to shake him. I believe that snake bit into Paul full of faith in the Holy Ghost. I believe he had ulcers forming his mouth. Wow. He let go. Now, you know what the barbarian said? Oh, he must be murderer. Because he got out of that boat and he swam up here and that snake bit him and Providence took over. And he's a, they didn't even know the guy's name. How did they come up with the idea he was a murderer? And so they sat back and watched him. Can I tell you what? It's not if trouble comes, it's when trouble comes. There are people around you watching how you handle it. Yes, Lord. If you tell a dirty joke and snicker, if everybody else is doing it and you participate with it, there's no difference between you and them. But they're watching to see. And they kept looking for Paul to kill over dead. And after a long while of observing him, he was perfectly fine. And they said, he must be a god. Yes, But this other one, he went from a murderer to a god. <laughs> I, I need some people to say amen. Right there. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says in the next three verses that there was a patriarch of the island of Melita who was sick. And they said, well, Paul got snake bitten. He didn't die. Let's go see if he can pray for him. Yes, they man. took him over there and they prayed for him. And the Bible says he recovered. Do you know yes. what? They had a revival all over the island yeah. of Melita yes, because man. Paul was snake if you say, I'm going to serve God, don't be surprised that the enemy comes at you. Yeah. But greater is he who yes, is in you than you. Yellow, yellow. It's how you choose to handle it. It's how you choose. I'm telling you, I'm not going to be devoured. I'm going to give no place to the Amen. devil. I'm going to lift up the name of the Lord yes, for he is great and great yes, and yes. great. I'm going to keep going to the prayer room. I'm going to keep fasting regular. I'm going to keep my nose Three. in this book. I'm going to keep obeying yes, the word Lord. of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But if that ain't necessary, but if God yes, has spoken to you, you better obey what God is speaking yes, to you. Yes, Lord. Come on, stand to your feet. I got I'm cutting out stuff. This is going to be a specious argument. But I think I'm up to the task. Well, you said some okay things, Pastor, but there's some things I don't agree with. You, you pray God reveals it to me that I understand. Can, can I tell you what? The Bible says it's by the foolishness of <coughs> preaching. I didn't say foolish preachers. Mm. The foolishness of preaching that men and women are saved. Mm. God just gave you <clears throat> what you need to accept. God has a way when he has a dedicated, anointed vessel, somebody he wants to use, somebody who submitted themselves to God. He has a way, even if I as a pastor get bold and say something, God will show up just to side with his preacher. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Sister Ben, how many times have we prayed in the office and within a few minutes, Always praying about we get a phone call. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. bragging to me. I'm telling you, God uses who he chooses to use. But I'm going to tell you what, you've got what you need. You just need to make a choice. Am I going to stay in dimness? Mm. Am I going to walk in the gray areas? Or am I going to experience the light of life? That God is a present help. In the time of trouble. Amen. Amen. He's not a far away God. 
He's a near and close God. Romans says it best. I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present to your bodies a living sacrifice. Do you know how to stoke up that fire? Is when you put yourself on the altar. Hallelujah. Sister Beth's going to sing this chorus today. But if you need revival in your family, you need a peace of mind that the world can't take away. If you need order in the midst of chaos, if you need joy restored today, would you just come and say, Lord, I'm going to accept it today. I'm going to obey the scriptures. God, I'm not going to let anything separate. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I subordinate everything that I think I want, God, for what your will is in my life today. Would you come and pray today and say, God, use me as fuel for the fire of an end time revival. Ooh.